Good morning and happy Wednesday. This morning I'd just like to give three quick messages. The first one is to thank all the students who are sharing and sending their messages to their friends who they are missing while not being in school. Wherever you are in the world at the moment, I know that all your teachers are also missing seeing you in person too. To help keep us connected, please keep sending your photos and messages to our social media at sis.gl. Thank you also to our parents for your support and sharing your reflections. Planning and preparing virtual school is definitely much harder, but it's worth it when we see the learning that is going on and when we receive your feedback. Over the coming weeks, our curriculum coordinators and leaders of learning will be sharing some of the great learning and work that is being completed at our virtual school. We will start with primary maths. Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we are teaching our maths curriculum online. First of all, I'd like to start with a huge thank you to students and parents who have engaged with our task and session so far and are continuing their mathematical journeys online. As you may already know, the PYP maths curriculum is split into five strands. Those strands are data handling, measurement, shape and space, pattern and function, and number. Each year group is continuing to follow their normal teaching sequence. Our activities are having to be modified to enable the children to complete their tasks virtually, but the learning outcomes and tracking of children's understanding remain the same to help us inform our future planning and to help us create reports and set targets for future learning. There has been a balance of offline and online activities, including live teacher-led sessions, smaller group sessions and one-to-one -one support available via Blue Jeans. In EC1, for example, the children have been spotting patterns in groups of objects. P1, the children have been learning about measurement through exploring temperature and time. P2 are revisiting and extending their learning about measurement by creating their own clocks to learn how to tell the time. P3 have been investigating coordinates and directional language by creating their own maps. P4 have been concentrating on data handling and how to represent information on bar and line graphs. In P5, the children are inquiring to shape and space and pattern and function by looking at area and perimeter of shapes and how to calculate an area using a formula. Finally, P6 have been exploring probability by creating events that can be repeated and recorded. The creativity of the teachers and the children are clearly on show during our maths lessons as students have been asked to explore mathematical ideas and concepts around their homes. For example, using Lego to calculate area and perimeter and even using their pets to calculate probability. It's been amazing to see children's engagement with maths during this period. And once again, I'd like to thank students and parents for their enthusiasm as we all adapt to a new way of learning. From me, it just leaves me to say, have a good day, keep working hard, keep focused and continue to do your best. Bye for now.